everyone. I am Shubhulakshmi Paul, Assistant Professor of Economics of Anand Mohan College. Today I am going to discuss the consumer story. How a consumer makes their choice under income constraints? I will just start from the basic three questions. What is the behind consumer's demand curve? That means how a consumer derives the demand curve or on the basis of he takes their decision. And second one is the how do consumer choose from among various consumer goods. That means if there are many goods available in front of consumer, then how could a consumer make their decision right? And third one is the what determines the value of consumer goods. So next, so before going to the details, we just going to discuss the utility concept of utility. So uh, utility is nothing but the pleasure or satisfaction which he or she or a consumer expect to derive from having or consuming a goods in a certain period of time. So consumer want to maximize its utility. So it is a desirable condition to achieve the higher amount of utility. So a rational consumer always try to maximize their utility level. And so there is a feasible condition which create constraint that is called income part. So a income make their creates a limit to make their utility maximize it creates a barrier right so a rational consumer uh, consumer's decision based on some assumption so makes their utility maximize or make their equilibrium so the assumptions are consumer always as i discussed consumers consumer always in maximize try to maximize their utility consumer prefer more of goods uh, than the less that means if there is a more goods available in front of consumer he always prefer for the opt for the more goods as compared to the lesser one so third one is the facing choice in between the x and y and there must be a relationship between the two goods suppose there is a two goods x and y there must be some relationship between these two goods x must be preferred than y or y must be preferred than x or must be these two goods are indifferent okay and the th uh, next one is the transitivity that means if there is a three goods available in the market and x is preferred to y and y is preferred to z and so we from this chain we also imply that x is preferred to the z one and last one is the diminishing marginal utility that means if in a certain period of time if consumer consume more, more amount of goods then the obviously utility is getting declined due to consume more amounts of goods the next is how to measure the utility so there is a basically two concept one is the cardinal utility concept another is the ordinal utility concept cardinal utility concept is the older concept which is developed by the marshall and the ordinal utility concept is developed by the hicks and slussy the according to marshall the in cardinal utility approach he mentioned that utility are countable in the units of utils okay so suppose i have a piece of pizza and from that piece of pizza i get five unit of utils and from the burger we just get 10 unit of utils so it is profitable for me to go for the pizza uh, sorry go for the burger as compared to pizza because from the burger we get more amount of utility 10 amount of utils as compared to the five is uh, less as compared to 10 so obviously i opt for the burger next uh, he can lastly mention that we can utility derived from different goods are comparable or they are stay in order so here we basically going to discuss the cardinal utility approach and before going to do that we just have to know the basic two ideas one is the marginal utility another one is the total utility. marginal utility concept is defined as the utility of a consumer derived from the last unit of consumer goods he or she consumed during a given consumption period at the previous previous condition alternatively we would say over a given consumption period as more and more of a good is consumed by a consumer beyond a certain point the marginal utility of additional units begins to fall okay so this point the additional utility begins to fall this concept is known as the diminishing marginal utility and by some of this marginal utility, marginal utility we just get the concept of total utility so on the basis of these two results, we just make these tables in the way that this is the key means quantity consumption. It is starts from the 0 and going to 10 and uh, this is the marginal utility obviously for the 0 for the 
और मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी इसलिए एब्सेंट फॉर द क्वांटिटी जीरो एंड सपोज इफ ही कंज्यूम फूड फर्स्ट यूनिट ही गेट्स द 40 यूनिट ऑफ यूटिल्स यूटिल्स एंड फॉर द सेकंड यूनिट ही गेट 45 यूनिट ऑफ यूटिल्स गैजुअली डिक्रीजेस राइट एंड वी सी द 20 इज लेस देन द 35 10 इज लेस देन द 20 इन दिस वे एंड इट इज देन इट इज गोइंग टू जीरो एंड देन इट इज गोइंग टू माइनस नेगेटिव पोर्शन ओके सो एंड बाय एडिंग दिस मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी वी जस्ट हैव द टोटल यूटिलिटी एंड टोटल यूटिलिटी इज मैक्सिमाइज्ड एट पॉइंट 60 160 when it is it is maximized the point is known as the h which is indicated in this curve which is inverted u shape and it is, is the highest point the value is 160 the, this vertical axis indicates the value and it is 160 and for the root 7 and 8 this portion this h it is going to maximum and for for this unit of uh, 8 unit of utility 8 unit of consumption marginal utility is getting zero so for these two, we just have the k is the point when the marginal utility is getting zero, right? And after that certain point, it is beginning to negative here. So uh, and uh, we just seen that the sum of marginal utility is one forty five, and the sum of total utility for the last unit is also one forty five, right? So in this way, we just derive the relationship between the total utility and marginal utility. So question is, how much goods does a consumer buy? So there is a certain question, there is a several option for in front of consumer. So how much consum a reasonable consumer try to um, buy the goods? So there are some facts of, I just discussed here, some facts of uh, life which is actually we have seen. So first one is the irrational consumer wishes to maximize his or her utility with limited income in the mind, uh, taking in the mind the concept of opportunity cost means if you con consume more units of goods x then there is a lesser money to spend on y so there is this concept is known as opportunity cost if you consume one goods more then there i have less money to consume the other goods right so in this way consumer make their uh, decision so suppose in this example in suppose there is a two goods b and h and this is the ratio and you b by pd is the price of goods P and NUH by PH. So this is the ratio which indicates that if you spend one unit of money, suppose one rupee of money in goods B, then we get the utility MUB by PD amount. That means here it is greater than the H ratio. So that means if we spend one rupee on D, then we get the more amount of utility as compared to the H one. So it is always preferred for the consumer to buy more B as compared to H. So in this way, the utility uh, final equilibrium is derived. In the in this way, when the uh, equilibrium is achieved in this way, that means consumer in indifferent between these two goods X and Y. There is Y is missing. So sorry, but if we assume there is a Y, so there is a two goods X and Y. Then the ratio is equal between goods then the equilibrium condition is achieved and for the multiple goods obviously there is a way of uh, there is equal sign must be put in between the all of the ratios okay so utility maximize conditions under income constraint always there must be a use income must be equal to expenditure this amount indicates the quantity and this is the price so price obviously if you multiply price with quantity that means we get the expenditure on x in this way we just get the expenditure on y so expenditure on all other goods is sum of that means total expenditure is always equal to total income here we just explain this this scenario by using a case example so here we also consider two goods uh, one is the ice cream and another is the hamburger so here we uh, found that the MUI by PI and MUH by PH is equal, equal at a point 1. That means the, this value is equal to this one. So equilibrium must achieve when consumer buy 5 unit of ice cream and 6 unit of hamburger. So this is the equilibrium condition for the consumer under cardinal utility approach. Okay. So I hope it is understandable to all. Thank you very much.